Here's a letter I received this morning. Dear sir, in answer to your request for a report on the Aritar district, there is no improvement in conditions, the land is unproductive and... So my Aritar P is worthless, mm, eh? According to this. You mean to say that land is all left of the Abbott estate? It amounts to about that. In other words, I'm broke. Well, I had a lot of fun spending it while it lasted. Going broke may be the best thing that ever happened to you, Jack. There's a glorious opportunity in the West. You don't think I'm going out to the woolly wilds of Arizona and Utah and rebuild the Abbott fortune, do you? Why not? You never know what you may find in the desert. I know what I'd find, all right. Snakes and rocks and cows and sand, and I don't like any of those things. You might also find a chance to use your expensive education. You studied geology, didn't you? Yes, but only because it gave me more time for other things. Now see here, Jack. You might as well make up your mind to do something. Well, I'm not going out in the desert to do it. Chicago's good enough for me. Yes, I suppose it is. I never thought I'd live to see an abbot who was afraid to go out and claim what was rightfully his, no matter what the danger. But why try to claim worthless property? What do you mean, danger? Suppose I were to tell you that I thought you were being robbed. I'd say it was beginning to sound exciting. Well, I've already written holding this, your manager out there, to turn everything over to you. How do you know I'm going? <laughs> You're an abbot, aren't you? <laughs> All right, Judge. But don't be surprised if I come back wearing a five-gallon hat and one of those Western get-ups. Those get-ups, as you call them, are worn by real men. <laughs> Remember that. All right, Judge. Goodbye. Goodbye. Into thy merciful hands, O oh, infinite power, I commend my son. Thy will be done. Don't resist, please. I can't help it, David. He was so young, so strong. Why did I? My daughter, it's not for us to question. It's about time someone started questioning. Where are you going, David? To get hold of us. I forbid it. You're always forbidding. No, Davy, this is not the time. Why isn't it? For years, Holderness has been robbing us, driving us further and further into this desert. My brothers, what have you done about it? Nothing. After all, your father has no real proof that Holderness was responsible for the killings. I have all the proof I need, Thornton. I hear my brothers calling me to even things for him, even if you don't. Violence is not the way to settle things, my son. I found that out years ago. I killed a man without first having proof that he was the one who wronged me. That must never happen again. A day of judgment always comes. You've been telling me that ever since Adam was killed. When is it coming? Who knows, David? Maybe at this very moment, a noose might be settling on the neck of Henry Holderness. Stay right here, my boy. Comes your friend Thornton, Chick. No friend of mine. Where are you heading? None of your business. Asking me, just wanted to make sure everything was all right. It's all right. He's working for me. Why didn't you tell us? I only tell people what they're supposed to know. Now get out and wait till I call you. Why didn't you tell him? He might have started something. 
My business is with you. You're getting smarter, Snap. Sure I am. Old man Nab just made me foreman. That's fine. Why, everything will be easy for us at the Oasis now. Not as far as you and I are concerned. I came in here to tell you that I'm quitting. Quitting what? Playing the game with you. From now on, I'm shooting square with the Nabs. That sounds funny, coming from a man who killed Saul Nab. I couldn't help that. It was either him or me when he found out I was working for you. Do you think the Nabs would accept that as an excuse if they knew? You can't quit me. You're in too deep. Have a drink. And let's not have any more talk about quitting. What is the situation at the Oasis? The old man's cattle are doing fine. Over a thousand head on the West Range alone. Well, this is going to be a profitable year. I'll give you an extra hundred this time. And we'll charge that to the removing of Saul Nam. Sometimes I wish I'd never seen you. If you hadn't, you'd still be just a poor cow and struggling for a few dollars. Well, at least I wouldn't be a double-crosser. And a killer. Take that with you, if you like. Are you sure there ain't even a postal card for me, Gopher Face? That little waitress over in Granite promised to write me. I told you I ain't finished sorting the mail yet. These are all for the boss. The mail writer just came in. This one's from Chicago. It's from the lawyer. Well, you can go. Yes, sir. Right. Yes? Send Nebraska in here. Yes, sir. Nebraska, the boss wants you. I want you to meet a man for me. You'll find him somewhere on the trail between here and the junction. Wait until he comes along. Sure, boss. I'll guide him in. I don't want that man to reach White Sage. You understand? His name is, uh... Wait a minute. If that's the kind of job it is, then Chick's a better man for it than I am. What am I paying you for? Fighting, not murder. You're not getting a little bit yellow. I guess you know that I'm always ready to take plenty of short chances to earn my wages. But the other fellow's got to have an even break. Old even break Nebraska. That's him. You might try being that way yourself sometimes, Chick. It'd be a change for you. Uh-uh. One like you in this outfit is enough. I ain't so particular how I earn my pay. What's the name of this man you don't want to get here? Sometimes I think you enjoy your work. Dollar's a dollar. Who is he? No, his name is, uh, John Abbott. John Abbott. That's an easy name to remember. Nice view from up here, eh? Yes. Mighty decent of you to guide me up here. I never found my way alone. Don't mention it. I'm glad I had the chance. Where's the town? Uh, just look down over that ledge and you can see where you're going.
Were you speaking to me? Uh, no, no. What did you say your name was? You asked me that before. Abbott, I told you. John Abbott. I just wanted to make sure I ain't making no mistake. That was a shot. Maybe someone hunting. Up there on Satan's Pass with a pistol? Nothing to hunt. I ain't even a grasshopper up there. I wonder who done it. Death in this desert always means holders. He needs our help no matter who he is. Bring him out, man. Well, how's your patient today, Miriam? About the same, Father. No better, no worse. You pull through, my child. The same power that delivered him from his enemies will restore him to health. Enemies? Father! You need have no fear of enemies here, my son. You're with friends. What is your name? The last man who asked me that... tried to kill me. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. We judge a man here by his deeds, not by his name. Rest easy, and we'll have you on your feet in no time. I don't know how I can repay you. you last night. Where were you, my lad? Why, uh, on the West Range. The stock is crowding seeping wells, and some of them should be driven out. Didn't look that way to me last time I was up there. That red eye you've been drinking makes you see double. Oh, leave me alone, will you? You know I've stopped drinking. Sure, I'm paying a lot of attention to him. Who is he? Another stranger lost in the desert. Why does your father bring strays around here? Well, this man might be anything. What difference does that make? He needed our help. Oh, Snap, you've been drinking again. Oh, why won't you let liquor alone? You know well enough why I drink, Miriam. If you'd only give me some encouragement. Oh, I like you. You know that. Sure, I know. The way you like everything around here. That isn't what I want, Miriam. Quiet. You'll awaken him. Oh, now, Snap, please go away. He needs rest.
Why didn't you come right back and report? You know you can depend on me. You won't have to worry about him anymore. He's at the bottom of that sand pit at Satan's Pass, what's left of him. It ought to be worth a lot more than this, seeing as how important Abbott was to you. Stop that noise. All right. blanket? Well, it's not a blanket. It's a poncho. Here's one. See? It's woven so your head can go through here. Oh. Our men wear them on the high ranges. It gets mighty cold up in the plateaus. Beautiful colors. Well, we make the dyes ourselves. You do? How? From roots, flowers, rocks, even from insects. You people seem to be able to do almost anything. We have to. Almost everything we use here we make ourselves. Miriam, soap and water, please. Yes, Father. Excuse me. Sure. Thornton doesn't seem to like me. Can't blame him, can you? You know, he'd give his right arm if Miriam worried over him as much as she has over you. But he doesn't seem to be any too fond of you, either. You got a keen eye, ain't you? Nah, I don't trust him. Bad blood. You know, his father was a rum runner. He used to cheat the Indians out of their ponies and blankets by giving them bad whiskey. Cousin Andy picked him up when he was a little shaver and gave him a home. He thinks he's the salt of the earth. Gonna make something out of him. But I'm thinking you can't make a lily white dove out of a desert hawk. Andy! You stay here, Mary. Nebraska. No trouble this time, Davy. No holding this rider ever came here without bringing trouble. That's enough, David. Hey, boss is raising the ante on you this year, Andy. He wants a thousand head of steer. A thousand? Is he crazy? Well, he figures that the use of this oasis and the land and water on the West Range is worth it. Well, we found that water on the West Range and we opened the seeping well. They belong to us. Holden has claimed it all belongs to the Arida Company. You'll have to argue it out with him. Holden us. Every time the Nabs find Rich Range in new water, he claims it for his company. Who does Holden us work for? Who's behind that carefully concealed company that he always blames for his lawless actions? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Well, you go back and tell him that I live by the old law that says, render unto every man that which is his. But I'm going to fight the claim of his company to the West Range and Seeping Wells. And until the boundary is legally decided, I'm not going to pay him a thing for the use. Well, yeah. I'll tell him, Andy. But I'm warning you friendly, like. You better think it over. Well, you, you don't seem to be on very good terms with your landlord. No. I'm afraid for David and Father. They're all I have left. Yes, I know. Nosey told me about your brothers. Holderness was responsible for their deaths. What? He gets rid of everything that stands in his way. Well, wouldn't it be wiser, then, to get out? Oh, we can't get out. We belong to the desert. We're part of it. 
It's part of us. And we made this oasis what it is. Bit by bit, we reclaimed it from the desert. It should belong to us. I thought it was yours. No. Holden has claimed it for his company. We merely lease it. And he charges us whatever he likes. I should think you'd go to the law, then. Holden seems to be the law around here, too. Well, what happened? Well, that old war horse just the same as told me to go and jump in the lake. And I might have done it, too, if it had been a lake. You should have sent me. Yeah. Well, I want to be around the day that you pulled down on Andy Nab with them fancy guns of yours. Are you trying to tell me that that old coot can handle a gun? Better than the best. So to say, guess you may never heard of Nab's trick. What do you mean, Nab's trick? Well, I ain't never seen it myself, but they say if he pulls it on you, you never live to profit by it. That's enough of that. Come on in here with me. I think they need another lesson. Now take some men, go to the West Range, and blow up seeping wells. Well, it's the only water in 30 miles. That's why I want it done. Uh, I just done my part of this particular dirty job. I ain't carrying no water to dumb cattle that can't defend themselves. It's old Square Deal Nebraska talking again. Oh, shut up. Chance, you do it. I'm not tired, but I am thirsty. Oh, I forgot to feed honey. I'll be back. I've been wanting to have a little talk with you, mister. Well, here I am. What is it? Who are you? Where did you come from? Well, that happens to be my business. Well, I'm making it mine. When are you getting out of here? Oh, that all depends. Well, I'd make it soon if I were you. Why should I? You know what I mean. I'm letting no one come between Miriam and me. I'll kill anybody who tries. You understand? I'm leaving here when Andrew Nabb tells me to. Not before. And whatever happens to you, remember, you brought it on yourself. Anything wrong, Jack? No, no. Nothing to worry about. Where are you going, David? To the West Range. If trouble comes from Holderness, that's where it'll begin. Why don't you take Snap with you? I don't trust you. Oh, you've let Nosey poison your mind. Don't you think I can see for myself? And so could you. But you tolerate things from Snap you wouldn't take from your own flesh and blood. Well, just what do you mean, son? You'll find him, Father. You'll see what I mean.
trail of misery that stuff brings. Why do you touch it? It's, uh, it's because of what happened between Miriam and me. Well, what has she got to do with it? Well, you know she's everything in the world to me. I started drinking when I saw her falling in love with another man. A man who never worked for and fought for the way I have. Who is he? Oh, you don't even know his name. He isn't honest. He couldn't be, or he wouldn't have anything to hide. Well, maybe it would be better if I sent him away, but I can't turn the man out. Well, it's either him or me. Oh, I guess it doesn't make any difference what happens to me now. No, I'm not going to let you go. Not like this. If I was sure of Miriam, I'd never touch another drop again as long as I live. I swear it. Will you take that pledge on the book? Yes, Father Neb. Come with me. Nosey will drive you wherever you care to go. I... I wish you'd tell me what I've done to offend you. Why, you haven't done anything. It's just that it's best for all concerned that you leave. That's the way you feel. There's nothing more I can say about it. But I, I want you to know that I'll never forget your kindness to me. Goodbye, Miriam. Goodbye, Jack. Up. That's the work of holding us. Snake and coyote. Oh, the poor cattle. The walls have caved in. Water probably will never run again. Well, we'll have to get the herd off that range before they die of thirst. Get the horses, Snap. Miriam, you'd better come with us. Nosy, what's the formation of the soil around those wells? Well, it's rocky and kind of steep up above them. Have you got any dynamite? Yeah. Get it. Get it? Yes, get it. What you want it for? Never mind. Get it. Oh, all right. What are we going to do with this stuff? You'll see. You ain't no cow man. What can you do up yonder? I might be able to find some water. Believe it or not, I studied geology in college. Yeah? What are you going to do with that thing? That's a divining rod. I'm going to find that lost channel. And I didn't learn how in no college either. It'll be weeks before we can find that channel. If I had the man who did this... What are we going to do about the cattle, Father? We'll have to take them to Rimrock Springs. Why, well, it's 30 miles across that desert. Half of them will be dead before we get there. Can't be helped. It's the only thing we can do to save any of them. Let's start the drive. Come on.
Whoa. They sure did blow it out, didn't they? Yeah. Well, I'll soon find water for you again. You don't really believe in that thing, do you? Sure, divining rod is good enough for Moses. I reckon it's good enough for me. Say, that rock strata works down to a depression point right there. That means water. Oh, you're crazy. Well, I've got plenty of company anyway. I know I'm loco, but you're loonier than I am because you think you got sense. All the water you can find up there, you can put in your eye. <laughs> Let's go and find out. Mm -hmm. Looks like you found something, all right. Yeah. Who's crazy now? I hate to tell you. Uh, cap one of those for me, will you, Nosey? Yeah, sure. Give me a couple of sticks. Let's get out of here. That for a miracle, Andy. And there's water enough there to make a garden spot out of this, too. And you was going to turn away the boy who'd done it. Father, you won't send him away now. Well, of course he won't. Will you remain with us? All right, if you let me. As long as you like. That goes for all of us, Jack. You sure outsmarted yourself when you plugged up the seeping wells. Well, they got more water up there now than they know what to do with. Who found the water? The tenderfoot the Nabs picked up in the desert. He's supposed to be a geologist. A rock picker. What's his name? He calls himself Jack. Jack what? I don't know. I never heard. I don't think anybody knows if he has a last name. He's the kind of a fellow that's trying to come between Miriam and me. 
What sort of a man is he? Why don't you take a ride out to the Oasis and see for yourself? I think I will. You mean, these are all for me? Well, you'll be needing them, my boy, now that you're going to stay on with us. Yeah. Me and Miriam figured there's going to belong to you when we was making them. I don't know what to say. I... You don't have to say anything. You've earned them. Why, you haven't seen the best present of all yet. There it is. You... You're not giving me Silvermane, too. Yes. He's a great horse, Jack. Be good to him, won't you? It's Holderness. Give me that, David. Nosey. So you're the rock picker. You mean I'm a geologist? Yes. How did you know? Oh, I've seen some of your work. I may pay you for locating that water for me. I've got some other prospects I'd like checked. Thanks. I may do that. But right now, I happen to be working for Mr. Nab. You look lovely, Miriam. How are things with you and Snap? What do you want? A thousand head of cattle. When do I get them? For ten years, Holderness, we've been persecuted by you. In the name of your company, you've plundered and pillaged and killed all who refused to pay you tribute. Three of my sons are dead because of you. That's enough, Nab. You're rotten all the way through, Holderness. You fatten on the lifeblood of every family in this desert. Why, you blabbering old fool. I'll show you. Hey, I never would have believed it. You're alive today only because there's a higher law than man's. Now get out. Take this, my boy. Keep it with you always. Behind it, you'll be as strong as he. Jack. Oh, Jack, what's wrong? Nothing. Oh. I, I'll be all right. Davy, help me. And be careful of him. Say, Andy, it's a good thing Snap ain't here to see Miriam making a fuss over Jack that way. They must be separated. I promised her to snap. Now, hold on, Andy. You can't stop human nature. Tomorrow, I want you to take Jack up to Crimson Glory Meadows and keep him there until I send for you. And, uh, teach him how to use this. I'm hungry. Ah, you're always hungry these days. You know, these two months up here sure made a big difference in you. Thanks to you, Dr. Nosey. 
Yeah, while I'm frying the flapjacks, you get in some pistol practice. I hung up some pine cones over there for you. Every time you hit a cone, you get a flapjack. Come on, start shooting. That's three flapjacks. Four. Oh, Nick ain't a hit. You only wiggled it a little bit. Oh, getting technical, huh? Five. That's enough. Come on, I can't be flapping these flipjacks for you all day. You've been in the White Sage all week. What were you doing there so long? I had to wait for this. And it was worth waiting for. No other girl in Aratai ever had one like it. Miriam! It's for you. Open it. You going to say something, Miriam? It's beautiful. I got the rings, too. See? Father, why don't you think of Miriam and let her decide for herself? A promise must be kept, my boy. They'll be happy. You'll see. Ride through the Arata. Tell all our friends that Snap and Miriam are going to be married two weeks from today. Take a ride over those hills. Why do you want to go over there first? Ooh, might be interesting geologically. Expect to find more water over there, too? Maybe. You know why I like you? You're the first cuckoo I ever met who's more curious than me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah. Nebraska ain't doing that just for exercise. Unless I miss my guess, old Hank Holderness is fixing himself a hideout again the day of judgment. sense than to be riding in here in broad daylight. I made sure the coast was clear. What's on your mind? You can't talk here. Go ahead and talk. There ain't been a sign of life around this place in more than an hour. How would you like to make a couple of hundred dollars? Depends on how much work I have to do to earn it. 
That rock picker's been getting in my way around here. Yeah, I heard about him. And all the money. Well, there's a hundred now. You get the rest after. Where is he? He's up in Crimson Glory Meadows. I'll find him. the best way to get up to the Crimson Glory? Well, if you don't know the short trail, it's best to go around by Satan's Pass. Are they heading up there for? Got a little job to do. Uh, who's going to get it in the back this time? Rock picker. Chance is coming up here. He's going to kill you. What for? Who's Chick Chance? One hole in this man. Fellow with a smile like a knife. Always whistling. Whistling? I think I know the gentleman. Well, he's coming around by Satan's Pass. Oh, Jack, please, please get out of here. Yes. Yes, I'd better go. Ride down to the Oasis. You'll be safe there. Why, he's riding toward the pass. Yeah, I never saw such a fella for riding into the wrong places. Remember me, Mr. Chance? Why, you... You're John Abbott. Yeah. What's the matter? Forgotten how to whistle? you too, Jack. This afternoon's been the happiest I've ever known. Hi, Danny. What's up? I rode up to tell you the news, Jack, but I guess Miriam's beat me to it. What is it? Father sent me to carry the word to the Eritar ranches that... What word? Well, hasn't she told you that... that she's gonna marry Snap Thornton two weeks from today? Miriam. I'll go with you in a minute, Davy. 
Miriam, it isn't true, is it? Jack, there are some forces too strong to fight. What do you mean? What forces? All my life I've been taught to obey my father's every wish. It's too late to change now. But, but he can't marry you off to someone you don't love. It isn't fair. It isn't right. He made a promise to snap, and right or wrong, it must be kept. And I thought you loved me. I do. You know that. Oh, please try to understand. I, I can't bring more trouble to my father now. Don't you see? I see he doesn't care what he does to you. Oh, don't say anything unkind, please. I'll never forget you, Jack. Never. Where are you going? What difference does it make? I'm getting out of here. So, you're going to quit without trying, huh? Running away from the thing you want most. Why didn't you just grab her, throw her on the horse, and run off with her? Uh, maybe you're scared to snap, is that it? No, I'm not scared to snap. Well, then you're scared of Andy Nab. Oh, go away, nosy. Well, what's the matter with you? Are you a man or a mouse? A mouse, I reckon, or you wouldn't be quitting so easy. Are the Nabs any better than the Abbots? How did you know my name's Abbott? Oh, just kind of accidental. Like some letters fell out of your pocket one day when you were sick and I was taking care of your clothes. Now, listen, I Nosey. know who you are, and I know who owns all the air toss, so shut up. Don't you know that women always have to do just so much blah blah and boo-hooing when they're stuck on a fella? You know, women always like to feel noble and self-sacrificing. That's just so that afterwards they can say, I told you so if things don't pan out just like they expected. You know, the trouble with Miriam is she's scared you'll get hurt again if you and Snap lock horns over her. Yeah. She's washed your face and tucked your bib in so long now, she figures you ain't got mustard enough to take care of yourself even yet. And I guess you ain't. Is that so? Well, I'm going to stick around here and see that wedding and be the first to congratulate the happy couple. Hold on now, you ain't aiming to start I'll something. even give her a wedding present. Two weeks from today. That's just time enough to get a letter to Chicago and back. Is there a letter here for John Abbott? No. Maybe you haven't heard, Holderness, but opening other people's mail is a penitentiary offense. I represent the Arata Company, and Abbott, since he's dead. Pretty sure of Abbott's death, aren't you? Even a man like Chick Chance slips up once in a while. I'm John Abbott. I'll take care of that. You're a notary, aren't you? Yes, certainly. Notarize my signature. Take it easy, boys. What? what, what what's, what's the matter? Have a look. What's going on in there? Never mind what's going on. I'll buckle those guns and drop them. Come on, hurry up. Get in there. Go on. Let him move. This is a grant deed transferring certain properties in error to, to one Miriam Nab. Did do, do, do you swear? Yes. Nebraska! I'm afraid Nebraska won't be joining us, Mr. Holderness. 
That'll be four bits to make it legal. Now, I'll just take this record of how you've managed my estate for your own profit. And if I were you, I'd get out of this part of the country before the sheriff gets here. Get him inside. Come on, get in that room. Hurry up. Get a move. Take this, Nosy. Like we come to the end of our rope. I'm not through yet. Break down that door. We're riding for Rock Mountain Hideout. did wasn't done in my name. Why, there's no need for you to tell me that, my boy. Well, I'm grateful to you, Jack, but we can't accept this. Why not? By rights, the Oasis ought to belong to the NABs anyway. You've got a dress, dear. Snap. I ain't gonna let you do something you'd be sorry for all the rest of your life. I'm not thinking of myself. You know that. Now, don't give me any of them high and noble ideas. Snap's not only a drunkard, he's a spying, lying thief. Well, what are you saying? You heard me. He's all I said he wasn't more. Why, listen, he's been working for Holderness for years, and I can prove it. your horse and there's the open desert. It's the last chance you got to get the man you really love. Will you take it? Yes, I will. Good. Miriam, meet you at the railroad station at Granite Junction.
get back. It's Miriam. We'll hold her in case the map start anything. Hello, Miriam. What sort of a honeymoon is this, Snap? Davy! They'd call that bridal. You know of anyone who has a better right to it? It looks as if you picked the wrong place to start trouble, Nev. You keep out of this, Holderness. Why, well, Snap's my friend. I wouldn't think of standing in his way. A wedding is a wedding, with a hell of the oasis or someplace else. Please go back, Davy. Not without you, Miriam. Davy! Go! Right for father, Davy! Very far. Here's a record of all the money Holiness paid, Snap. Been going on for years. We'll ride against Holiness, Andrew. Every one of us has got a score to settle with him. Yes, sir. No. Well, maybe this will change your mind. Look at that. For taking care of Saul Nab, $100. Snap Thornton killed your boy Saul. Why, you David. David, is it bad? It doesn't hurt me. Jack, Hortus has married me in the past. David, who did it? Hortus. Get Miriam. Careful. You're a justice of the peace. This is as good a time as any for the wedding. Oh, that can wait until we prepare this place for defense. Why, well, you're safe enough. You got this place covered. Let's get on with my affairs. Now, hold on. Just as Quirk says, such a marriage won't be legal. All right, then I'm taking her back to the Nabs. No, you don't, and keep out of there. I'm getting out. Sure, but you're going alone. What are you going to do with her? If it's any of your business, I'm keeping her here in case Nab rides against me. You are lying, and you know it. You're figuring on marrying me yourself now that she owns the Oasis. That's a good idea at that. 
Now get out. can't stomach. He's in the canyon at the foot of Rock Mountain. Get out! Come out! Love this desert, Miriam. It's brought me everything I've ever wanted. 
Ours is a teacher. Yours and mine. Ours. 